boys and girls, my name is Brandon and today we are going to kind of talk about and I'm just going to give my reaction to the first episode of the new season of American Horror Story which is American Horror Story, American Horror Story Hotel, the words, and I will go ahead and throw a trailer at the end of this episode or show. Um, if it's not there, that means I've most likely had a copyright strike because of the music in the trailer or maybe because of the trailer itself. I've only had one problem before, but just as a warning. So anyway, the first episode is about 104 minutes? No, I'm sorry. It is an hour and four minutes on my, on my PlayStation video thing. It was 104, so it's an hour and four minutes, not 104 minutes. Anyway, um... I'm not crazy about this season so far. I didn't really think it looked good the first time I heard about it, but then there was a trailer a couple weeks ago before it premiered that made it look really good, and there's the same cast that's been in most of the other seasons, minus a few characters. Um, so this new one's kind of, it's set in a hotel in New York. It's called the Hotel Cortez, and it looks like Lady Gaga is maybe the owner? I'm not really sure, but... Kathy Bates is in it. Um, she plays like the desk woman, the receptionist, or what have you. Um, Evan Peters is credited, but he's not in this episode, so that's kind of weird. And um, Max Greenfield from New Girl is actually um, in this episode. He actually does really, he has a really great performance, and it's really interesting what he does. But overall, I'm not really feeling it so far. I watched the first episode just, I mean, two or three minutes ago. I finished it and set up my camera and, and started recording this. Um, it's good. There are, are references to some classic shows, or some movies, I'm sorry, uh, such as The Shining. The carpet, if you watch the episode, is actually the same uh, design that The Shining's carpet is, as well as the um, children. You'll notice throughout the show is very reminiscent of The Shining. Um, there are also a couple little references here and there to Evil Dead and some other movies that I can't pinpoint the exact movie but I've definitely seen this kind of alluded to in other in other movies if you get what I'm saying. There's definitely some references and some Easter eggs there. Um, so the first episode is an hour. I assume from here on out there'll be 41 or 42 minutes since it's an hour long show traditionally on FX. Um, I don't have cable TV, so I probably will not watch this as the show goes on. I was able to get the first episode on PlayStation Video for free, so if you have a PlayStation, feel free to check that out. Otherwise, I believe you can buy it on Amazon, iTunes, or if you have cable, you can watch it there on or on demand. Um, I will definitely watch the show once it hits a streaming service, or if I can... I saw something weird out the window, I'm sorry or if I can get a decent deal on Amazon, but I will not buy each individual episode. I, since I don't have cable, that's how I would have to watch it. I'm not interested, I'm not crazy about this show so far. Um, it has some potential, it looks interesting. The first 10 minutes I was super into it, and then I drifted off for like 30 minutes, like I just didn't care, nothing was happening. They're, they're jumping back and forth between timelines. Uh, it looks like between 1994 and, and current time, which was weird. Um, but then throughout the, e near the end, maybe the last 10 minutes, something really cool happens, which involves Lady Gaga. That's not a spoiler, but um, it, it's cool. You'll know what I'm talking about. It's a very well-made scene, and it made me rethink how this type of thing could be done in other, in other forms of media, which I, I know I'm kind of being vague here, but I don't want to spoil anything spoil anything for you. Um, so like I've said, I am not going to follow the show from here on out. I will not, don't expect any more reactions to episodes. Um, if you follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash alterwalters, if I start watching them, I'll post and tell you guys that I'm going to do more episodes. But as of now, um, personally not for me. I love Ryan Murphy and I love everything he does. However, I feel like the last season, Freak Show kind of fell off. And as of now, um, this season does not look like something I'm gonna I'm gonna continue to watch. It seemed a little boring, and it seems like something I don't want to have to wait for each week. If you get what I'm saying, once it's available as a package and I can watch the whole season over, you know, a weekend or, or three or four days, then I'll definitely check it out. Um, if you're a fan of the show, if you're a fan of horror or anything kind of weird, even some of the actors, it's a good reason to watch the show. 
like I said, it looks good, but it's just not for me. It's not worth the time and dedication and trying to acquire the episodes um, legally and, and, you know, all that. So, overall, I would say check it out if you want to, but there's no reason you should be swayed to watch it if you didn't feel like you wanted to see it beforehand. So, other than that, thank you so much for watching, guys. Leave me a comment down below, and if you really like it, tell me why I should keep watching it. Uh, if you don't like it, tell me why, or if you haven't seen any of the shows, I mean, go check them out and just give me your thoughts below. Give me a thumbs up, it helps out a lot, and subscribe to the channel. I have new videos every Tuesday and Thursday, um, whether it be reactions, let's play videos. Uh, I do a series called The Q Review, which is where I sit down and talk to you guys about movies on Netflix, and I rate them on a scale of 1 to 5, and that's probably my favorite show to do, so there's a lot of those episodes. But other than that, I really appreciate you watching, guys. I don't have a whole lot to say about this episode without really ruining anything for you guys, but... I'm just not feeling it, that's my honest opinion, and um, I will see you guys Thursday for the next video, which should be Star Wars Battlefront gameplay. If not, that video will be coming. I love you guys so much. This should fade into the trailer after this, but if not, copyright sucks. I will see you guys later. Have a great day. Bye! Wednesday. What can you tell me about the occupant room 64? That room's vacant. I haven't seen one that sweet in a while. Killing is awesome. Hold it! You're reckless. Lucky you.